Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be reviewing a figure based on an animal that appeared in episode 5 of Walking with Dinosaurs, Spirits of the Ice Forest. I chose Mutaborosaurus, and to represent that animal, today we're reviewing the Collector Mutaborosaurus figure. Mutaborosaurus is a genus of ornithopod dinosaur of questionable affinities that lived in Australia during the early Cretaceous period around 112 to 99 million years ago. Okay, so this figure, unfortunately, whoops, isn't the best, I'm afraid. Um, there's a lot of problems with this figure. It suffers from being an early collector figure before they really found their footing and started churning out some really high quality prehistoric animal models. So let's start off with the head. Now the head sculpt of Mutaborosaurus is very distinct in that it has this very um, clear nasal ridge, but while it was speculated to be sort of like a trumpeting system, that has been um, kind of uh, disproved as it was made of bone and you can't exactly inflate bone. So that theory has kind of been put out of favour now. Now the eyes are so thin, but I feel like they're more like crocodilian pupils than bird pupils which I don't like. I would have rather they'd done the bird ones. Uh, we've got some we've got some very prevalent ears. I don't know why they're so pronounced, but that's okay. Now the we've got some nostrils sculpted on here and um, the beak we do have a beak just about and we've got a pink tongue sculpted in there. So the head's alright. Now the rest of the body is a little bit meh, but we can just see we've got classic elephantitis as we call it. A lot of wrinkles rather than scale detail, but the th odd thing about this figure is that there is scale detail as well-ish. You can just barely make out these tiny little circles sculpted all over this figure. They're hard to make out, but they are there. It's easier to make them out in person. And I I don't get what they were trying to go for. Were they trying to get a mix of both? Because these don't look like skin folds, they just look like wrinkly skin. And it's just, it's such a shame because I, it just looks confused. Not, not as if it's got a confused expression, but the figure, the making of this figure just seemed a bit confused, like they didn't know what direction to take with it. Because here, when we look at the neck, we can see clear skin folds. These are different to these. Because these are actually, um, the uh, the skin reacting to the animal's movement, so that's that's good. Now, when we get to the front legs, we've got very prevalent. I don't know if you call these thumb spikes, but the claws are very um, protrusional, if that's a word, and they probably wouldn't be to this extent. There's the right number of toes, I believe, but on the front feet, but they probably wouldn't have been arranged in this way. Uh, it's also thought that um, the pose on this figure might be inaccurate as it's thought that ornithopods as basal as um, Mutaborosaurus probably couldn't walk on all fours so the pose might be a bit outdated as well which is a shame. Uh, the torso it's the right shape but again the detail on it it's just not great I really wish they'd just gone for the scale detail rather than the weird wrinkles. The back legs, appropriately muscular. I do like that. The proportions are pretty good on this figure. The back feet, however, um, they should have four toes and we've only got three on here, which is a shame. Uh, there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of problems with this figure. And the color scheme, not terribly inspired, I'm afraid. I'm not a huge fan of this kind of dull orangey brown kind of color with the yellow stripes you can just about make out yeah it's just nothing special to me it doesn't really do a whole lot for me the tail is pretty good seems well within the range of uh, this animal's motion and it fits the pose got quite a pronounced pubic boot there that's good so there are definitely some good things about this figure and then on the underside we've got veins and skin folds that's good so 
Yeah, this is an interesting one. In that it suffers from early collector syndrome. I've definitely seen much worse, I will say that. I've seen a lot worse than this. This is, I really don't think this figure's that bad. It's also absolutely tiny. So in terms of the length, that's about, is that, how long is that? Uh, just shy, or just over 14 centimeters long. And then in terms of the height, probably looking at um, just over six centimeters tall. Okay, um, yeah, if, you, if you're interested in this figure, you can get it from everythingdinosaur.com. Uh, if you're interested in seeing my review of the episode of Walking with Dinosaurs for the 20 year anniversary, Spirits of the Ice Forest, uh, a link to that will be available in the end card. That'll be on in just a moment. Yet, yeah, not the best figure in the world, but I've seen far worse. So over, I'd say this figure is good. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.